Changirai arrived in the country early in the morning and held a closed door meeting with Prime Minister Raila Odinga. Changirai says his meeting with the Prime Minister dwelled on the power sharing deadlock in Zimbabwe, a deadlock similar to Kenya's own early this year between President Kibaki's Party of National Unity and Raila Odinga's Orange Democratic Movement. Where we have uh, this new experiment in Africa where when people lose the elections, they want to negotiate their way back into, into government again. Mediation talks in Zimbabwe led by South Africa's President Thabo Mbeki have stalled over the powers of President Mugabe and Morgan Changirai in a proposed coalition government. Changirai's movement for democratic change is demanding that the proposed Prime Minister must share executive power with President Mugabe. Mugabe's ZANU PF party is not keen to embrace the proposal. We don't want cooperation. We want cooperation and, and sharing of power. Not sharing of positions, but sharing power. Embattled President Mugabe has threatened to convene parliament early next week, despite the stalemate in the power-sharing talks. If President Mugabe proceeds to convene parliament, appoint a new cabinet, it means that he's proceeding to violate the conditions of the MOU, which means that he may have abandoned uh, the basis for, for the talks. But we don't know what his intentions are. Changirai says his meeting with ODM leader Roy Laudinga was fruitful. Roy Laudinga has been vocal in criticizing President Mugabe for the crisis in his country and has called on African leaders to exert more pressure on President Mugabe. Uh, it managed to allay some of our fears, but it strengthened some of our positions uh, in terms of exercise of uh, responsibility and authority at the same time. Zimbabwe is a big embarrassment to the African continent. I said it is only in Africa where an election can be held in a country and whole month passes, results are not announced, and everybody is just quiet. The case of the king is naked and nobody wants to say the king is naked. Kenya is among world countries that have denounced the June elections in Zimbabwe where President Mugabe was the sole candidate. Kenya is however opposed to calls for increased international sanctions on the already impoverished South African country. Emmanuel Talam, KTN, Nairobi.